I think it's very difficult for kids who have been in um, foster care situations and different kinds of traumatic situations um, to go through even something that we might see as a simple medical exam or procedure just because they have had to go through experiences that make them question if they can trust people. The process of children coming into foster care is often a traumatic one and people don't usually think about that, but a child has been traumatized to begin with and that's why they're in foster care. But the process of removal by the Department of Human Services and bringing them into a foster home itself is a very traumatizing event. The child is removed and then usually taken right to an emergency room or a hospital. So the trauma of being removed is oftentimes tied in with the medical profession as well as the facilities and the treatment that they receive. As a result, children in foster care oftentimes have a phobia or fear of medical care. The teddy bear clinic that we did here at Hope at Home was designed to help kids get over that fear and it's a wonderful event. I'm Grace Hauser. I'm a pediatric pulmonologist with the Children's Hospital Colorado Breathing Institute and I'm here today working with the teddy bear clinic with Hope at Home. And I heard about it and became interested because um, it sounded like a great way to get kids that might have had difficult experiences within the medical system in the past um, to have a comfortable experience. It's really helpful for the kids to be able to connect with medical staff in a play environment so they don't necessarily always associate us with pain. This is Baba. And this is Bonnie. There was a teddy bear clinic and that's where I got this new eye. Um, Baba like was kind of nervous and I just kept on telling her that today you will see it again today that Jesus will touch you and yeah. He was kind of scared. Well, we kept it on and we gave him a cast. So the doctors and nurses were so, 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 so very nice. Like, like they didn't get used a big tone of voice or do any, like, oh no, stop talking that or anything. They just talked clearly. Or, and once we, like, once I, like, held the eye, she was like, oh, do you want to hold the eye? And I was just like, yes. It was really nice and polite. Um, um, they were really, really, really nice. So his heart um, stopped walking. I was working at the x-ray station this morning where we got to take pictures of the various stuffed animals and their injuries, usually limb injuries, but I had one little girl come through with her bear and her bear had a broken heart. And so we took a picture of um, the bear's chest and gave her um, a picture of the bear's chest x-ray and told her that to fix the broken heart, the bear needed a lot of hugs. And so my three-year-old boy picked up the bear and gave the bear a very sweet hug and gave it back to the little girl. And it was just a really special moment um, to see that connection being made and hopefully to um, help her to learn um, that there are lots of things that are difficult in life, but hugs help. So I would like to come back to the, the teddy bear in the clinic and I just love uh, doing this and next year I might be on, we might be on TV again and you might see a different teddy bear or something. You don't have to be scared about it and it's um it it's it's like a party and it's really fun. Next year I'll bring different um teddy bear it's like something's wrong with it and So fun with me fun. Love, it's a special day. We should celebrate and appreciate the you and me found something pretty neat. And I know some say this day. But it's a good excuse, but I love to use, baby, I know what to do, baby, I 